and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some War Mother Glinthorn. Going to be an extension of Meme Tier Monday. Going to be continuing on with that. We got another Meme Tier deck here. We are playing War Mother's Call with Orok Glinthorn and a bunch of Noxus and Freljord stuff in between. Um, so looking at our deck, we're we're kind of like a, a slower deck, right? Because we're a War Mother's deck. And so you can see how we have cards like Avalanche, a nice control card to try to keep the board kind of clear. And Avalanche helps out with like a lot of our other stuff. We can do two to two to a bunch of different units. And that helps out like our Ravenous Flock in here. And then like our Death's Hand kill more things and stuff like that. Uh, but then of course we're going to be ramping. We got Catalyst of Aeons to help ramp up to War Mother's Call. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the deck, you know, we got uh, Avros and Sentry, you know, good blocker, draw a card, Tavern Keeper, keep our life total kind of high, Hearth Guard, just a great card, uh, just kind of in general, just a really good five mana card. Um, so we got that in here. We're going with Swain, um, you know, because we can do a lot of non-combat damage, especially with our Avalanches and also with Anivia. So Swain and Anivia is kind of a combo like that. Anivia is attacking doing one to all enemies definitely helps level up swain so since we're since we're having a nivia attack do one to all enemies we have our avalanche that's doing a lot of damage to all enemies then we have orak glenhorn so since we have our opponent that hopefully has a bunch of stunned uh or sorry damaged enemies orak glenhorn can attack and stun them all and that's kind of the combo with our deck now if we we also have something that's kind of cool here where we can like attack with Anivia, deal one to all the enemies, and then we have this one Shunpo. We can cast Shunpo and then rally, and then afterwards, then we can attack with our Glenhorn. All their en their enemies are damaged because Anivia just attacked, so we stun them all and we can attack in with everything else. So that could be pretty cool. Um, let's see. That's kind of about it. That's kind of what our deck's all about. Same thing with Katarina with the Shunpo, um, where we can be using a leveled up Katarina to uh rally so that's another way that we can get those extra attacks with that glint horn okay so war mother glint horn oh we should probably uh switch this up play some some more interesting things over here uh let's go with you you and you okay sorry about that uh, War Mother Glenhorn. Alright, we're just going to be playing in normal for our meme tier deck. Playing five games over here and seeing how we do. Alright, this should be pretty fun. A Noxus War Mother's deck. Definitely want to keep Catalyst of Aeons. I think I'll just get rid of the two six drops. Death's Hand, pretty pretty fine. I mean, it does kill both of their champions, um, theoretically. Now, it doesn't wouldn't necessarily always kill Fizz. If I cast Death's Hand on turn two to get rid of this Jagged Butcher, then I'm looking at three mana next turn, so I won't be able to Catalyst of Aeons. I'm going to just pass and let's, let this do damage. Now, Black Market Merchants. That's going to be the card that I was going to say that that hurts, you know, by not killing that if they did have Black Market Merchants. That would be not as good for me. Hmm. Let's just ramp. Let's ramp. Let's ramp. That means they'll be able to turn on Plunder next turn again. Not ideal. But it's how it is. So I don't want to play Hearth Guard right now. Because they're about to play Pilfer Goods. And stuff like that. So we're going to just ramp again. Without 
Wow, no pilfer goods, no nothing. Wow. That's good. I wish I could avalanche and hearth guard. Um Yeah, I wish we could avalanche and hearth guard. I think we'll go Avalanche and Sentry. Next, I need to leave three spell mana next turn so I can play this War Mother's Call. Instead of playing Sentry, I'm just going to kill Twist of Fate. Killing Twist of Fate, always good. Never mind. Oh, that worked out poorly for me. They got an extra mana. That worked out poorly. So they had no... I'm tempted to just... I'm tempted to use this Harsh Winds. They had no Plunder cards the turn before, but they have drawn a couple more cards since. I'll just play this. So my plan here is Avalanche and then Sentry. So I save three spell mana. And then with three spell mana next turn, we can play War Mother's Call. See far and clear. I can't really make that noise. Tavern Keeper is a play trigger. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Mr. Fate, four out of eight. Yeah, so Tower Keeper is a play trigger, so we don't just get that I don't immediately. Think it's luck. Mm. Looks like Mr. Fate's gonna level up, and it's not. It's not like I didn't try to kill Mr. Fate. I mean, I guess I could have played Anivia this turn and attacked. That's a good one. We don't get to draw a Swain, because that's also a play trigger, but we just have a 5-8 Leviathan in play that, you know, Roundstar will start doing some damage. So that's just pretty cool. Eyes open. So likely um, Riptide Rex. It's just how it is. Thanks, Cordec. Uh, Vendel, no. Especially compared compared with other card games, this is the easiest for a new player to get into, and also the cheapest as well. So no, I uh, very very new uh, new player friendly for sure. Is that every single pocket aces? 
It's a pretty sweet life. Dead in their tracks. Light the signal fires. Yeah, they they played three. They played three of those. Pocket aces. And oh, I guess two of them they had the reduced cost because they were just drawn this turn. Nice yeah, hopefully Anivia ne this next turn. Gets to do some work. We're going under. They just have millions. Of, they just get millions of cards because of leveled up Twisted Fate, and that's what's um, really helped all these. The all right, put a Glinthorn into play, or Mother Glinthorn. Stun all the damage stuff. Yeah, Shumpo would be a great draw, being able to attack again. I'm not mad at this Ravenous Flock. Should help us take care of that thing. See if we can kill this fizz. It's gonna be a difficult fizz to kill. They've there's like six total protection spells that they can possibly have in those two regions of three pocket aces, three suit up, and they've played five of them. <laughs> hoping, hoping this ravenous block can kill the fizz. But obviously, Fizz is difficult to kill because they can cast any spell. Battle by battle. Okay, good. That's good. We're gonna get a new blocker at the beginning of the turn because of War Mother's call. The War Mother will unite us all. We'll get a fresh, undamaged blocker. Shampoo, why are you so slow? Like a fish in water. <laughs> so slow. If they have a fast speed way of dealing damage to my hearth guard, we'd just lose by me choosing to do this. Yep, all the rallies are slow these days. <laughs> strike my own thing so they don't get to safety will cost you many tribes under one banner so they don't just get a free you know free noxion guillotine There. 
A new era begins! I probably could have just attacked with the hearth guards, I guess. Probably should have attacked with the hearth guards, I guess, because then, yeah, because then even if they would have blocked with the 6 6, they would die to a Nivea trigger. I, yeah, so I should have, should have attacked with the hearth guards. Um, I mean, if I attack with Glinthorn, the 3 3 blocks the Glinthorn, but then I guess this blocks like a 5 5, and they take 9, they take 12 with plus 2 plus the Nivea, so they die. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's worth attacking. Take then this is lethal friend. unless they have stuff to stay alive. <laughs> if you attack, you lose. What? We just lose if we attack? I don't understand. Oh, if I would have attacked... Oh, if I would have attacked last turn, because... Oh, that's true. Oh no, they took one of my heart flames. No. Um. Die harsh wins them. And keep these two things alive. Probably don't need to. I'll save harsh wins. I think I'd basically I'd rather save harsh wins for like they play like a fizz that I can't deal with. Um. Take their land. Bury them. And I need like my harsh winds to to have me stay alive. What you have? Tavern keeper, why are you still a play trigger? We talked about this earlier. We don't like that. We don't get you as a as a trigger there. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, my opponent's deck plays Riptide Rex. I'm. I don't know why they wouldn't, basically. I, I We haven't seen Riptide Rex, but I don't know why they wouldn't be in there. And that's why we have Harsh Lens. Randomly have a 4-3 Fizz. I don't need a Harsh Winds right now. I want them to play a spell to get rid of a spell from hand. Dead in their tracks. See ya, Nevia. Died a hero. Yeah. Alright, oh, that was a good game. That was a good game. Until our paths cross once more. GG's. GG's. Yay. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm updating the thumbnail for the YouTube video just that just came in. Uh, Mulligan at all? What are we playing against? Misfortune deck? Do I keep Death's Hand? I could see keeping Death's Hand. The rest is going to get Mulliganed. Certainly. Um, no, whatever. You can go to. Catalyst of Aeons, Avalanche. I like Culling Strike. Culling Strike kills Misfortune. Yeah, it looks like Misfortune Elusives. Which, you know, Death Hand's good. Not as good as Avalanche.
There's Avalanche. Patrol 3? Is that what he says? Say the word patrol. Patrol 1, patrol 2, patrol 3. Control. He says control 1, control 2, control 3? I feel like it's patrol. Do I let them strike? It's kind of weak using my calling strike on that thing when I am sitting with avalanche. That would kill it. I think I let it strike. Okay, it is patrol. <laughs> okay. There's plenty of killing left. No. That's a three health. Take the high ground. <laughs> Green glade lookout was reduced in cost. Okay, I think we made the correct decision. That's kind of cool. We got turn four Swain. Turn four Swain's cool. I guess I can risk it. I was gonna say I don't want to risk it and, and leave the two Green Glade duos. <sighs> but I, I suppose we can risk it. No, we, we don't need to play Turn Force Wayne. Let's pass? Let them go straight to combat? I guess we'll just take this. I don't want them just to draw something that's like actually good. I don't know. Okay, maybe our opponent's deck is just not any good. That's also possible. I forgot that we're just playing it normally. We're doing meme tier. So maybe I don't need to be nearly as scared as what I am. Maybe. But maybe not. We'll see. Just act natural. I got you. Yes. Something ancient stirs. Right, so they have something more expensive than Jagged Butcher in hand. A unit, that is. Oh, right. They're Bilgewater, they just have that. So they didn't play 3 3 Jagged Butcher, even though they had the chance to. Um Glory excuses for war. Because I have the other Swain, I'm just gonna play this Swain. I got a bunch of ravenous flocks. Check the rigging. Seems like a pretty good calling strike. On a six mana card. So we'll take that. Snow, wind, and ice. Intruder, get him. So the Nivea trigger will do three. I'll do another three. Swain's at ten. We'll just level up Swain right now with one of these million Ravenous Flocks. Not the best use of a Ravenous Flock, but we'll use it. We'll take it.
That was a pretty that was a pretty great calling strike. Getting a seven mana boat. Ooh, y'all think it's a mind meld deck. Come on a music. Ooh, what about journey. smooth the soloist? Oh, they are weak. I can feel it. Let their flaws inform your strategy. Zero mana, jacket butchers. That's it. Um, kind of want to harsh winds the two jacket butchers so that if so that they have to have smooth soloist block Swain. This may end up being a mistake. No, they're not playing Infinite Sage. I don't th think so. I think that's a different region. Maybe they are, I don't know. Um, that's probably not going to be a mistake, right? I don't know. I'm basically spending six mana to kill Smooth Soloists. I don't need to do that. We got ravenous flocks and stuff. We don't need to do that. Basically, the the reason not to do it is maybe they just have a bunch of like elusives or like you know things like that that attack in. And I use harsh winds to protect my, my life total. Rend the skies. And I'll Ravenous Flock the Smooth Soloist. No, Death Lotus does not work with Glinthorn. Glinthorn, like they have to be damaged first, and then you attack, and then you stun them. You can't, you can't um, attack. Same with like a. Anivia, you know, like you don't start stunning them during combat. They have to be already damaged for the attack trigger for them to be stunned. Oh, come on. Our one Noxian Guillotine is killing us. That's twice. Both games, the opponent just stole the one Noxian Guillotine. I assume we only have one. Yeah, there's just one in here. Oh, cool. They just stole a Death Sand, too. That's pretty nice for them. Yeah, I'd say that, that worked out. Say that worked out. <laughs> yeah, why do they steal more of those? Nelswater will soon fly the Noxian land. Not while I've got bullets left. Welcome to the Tipsy Up. They could, have, they could have more Catalyst of Aeons, that's fine. We are at war. How about another round? Don't get ahead of yourself. I'll be damned. Alright, I mean, I can't complain. I mean, it looks like this is over. If I've seen a game that's been over, it looks like this one. Down from the trees. I think so. I think that's what they look like. 
stand and defend. Okay, GG's. Two and O. Oh. We have done what is needed. So much damage. Dealt it all. Okay, War Mother with Noxus stuff. It's pretty sweet. You know, like playing Avalanche with Swain is really cool. Anivia with Swain, also really cool. Ooh. Alright, here's the test. Best deck in the game. How do we do? Sentry worth a keep? Death Sand worth a keep? No and no. No and yes. I can play Sentry on two and still have Avalanche on three. I'm not gonna play anything yet. Okay. First check to see if we would draw Catalyst of Aeons, the most important slash best card. We did not. Oh, there it is. All the world on they have their most arrow. important slash best card. Um, yeah, exactly what I wanted. Show me a target. I got your target right here. Cold. A lot of Swain leveling up. We just did that turn. 11 damage. Man, now do you go Catalyst or do you go Hearthguard? That's tough. I think it's Hearthguard. We fight for one frail yard. A chill in the air. Mm, they have that combo with Coaling Strike. Lame. Man, that's such a good combo. Leaping into action. Sure. Um got that choice again. I think it's Hearthguard again. Start drawing double pumped you things. The right to call themselves Trifarian. That was not a very good Trifarian Assessor. If I've ever seen a not very good Trifarian Assessor, I think that's what it looks like. Katarina's kind of tough in this matchup because of Frostbite. You know, like we play Katarina, it's not like it's automatically going to hit because of that Frostbite stuff. Um. I think I kind of like just attacking in. Okay. I'd say they block with something lame. I'm going to go Kindly Tavern Keeper, then heal me for three. I was going to heal the Hearth Guard. They blocked there, and then I'm going to Catalyst. about your dad. Let's walk like this. All right, you can play that game. So I either gain seven life or 
gain four health on that thing. I think I'd rather just gain seven life. I like the seven life also. Cool. I do like that that is a um That is a uh, harsh wind's gone looking at like my Katarina striking. The spirit of winter awakens. It's one harsh wind's gone. Dang! So I was gonna play Katarina that turn and get the Blades Edge because then the Blades Edge could could um, pair with the Anivia attack to take down the four three. So right, like the Anivia attack was gonna kill the four two, the Blades Edge would pair with that to kill the four three. I mean, they we can't say that their hand was bad. I mean, they started with turn one Omen Hawk and they had Ash on curve. They. And they had the combo with the the 4-2 into Cooling Strike. They had that combo. They didn't do anything with Assessor. That just they it was a really poorly played Assessor. I, I we may have just got paired against the same person. I don't know. I'm not. We're not counting that as a win. We're a normal. Meme tier versus best deck. Easy win. I don't know. I don't mean I. Meme decks can be legit, also. The question was: Is this deck legit or really meme? I don't know. Just because it's meme tier doesn't mean it can't be good. Which basically means it's a lot more. You know, it's like a, a fun deck that's playing cards that you don't usually see in normal uh, decks. That the the goal isn't necessarily being the best possible deck. That it's more uh, doing some, you know, more doing really cool and fun things. Those can end up being legit as well. Didn't know the boss is so Don't know much, do ya? Uh, we need Avalanche. Oh, it's looking pretty scary over there. They're doing a bunch of scary stuff. We don't really want to draw Orok Glint Horns. We want to put Orok Glint Horn into play off of War Mother's Call. Kind of the same with like Leviathan. Like we don't, I just don't want to just like want all this stuff in my hand. Yeah, this is not, not. Uh, this is our weakest hand so far, but we'll see how we do. Maybe we draw an Avalanche or a Katarina. Mm. Come, on in. Come on in. The water's warm. Yeah, yep, that's exactly why Rune Terra is great. You can you can just play fun decks and they'll still be strong. You know, you draw well. And they're still strong also. The spirit of winter awakens. Man, Avalanche will be so good when we draw it. So good. So good. Let's get to it. I must get out of here. So they want to turn on plunder. We'll give them plenty of plunder. Hey, what's up, Metal Gaming? 
No, he didn't end up playing your deck to, you know, discuss it with uh, chat and everything, and the consensus was that they didn't really want to watch it. Didn't think it would be entertaining. I was going to title it Worst Deck Ever because, you know, it didn't do anything. Do I... Um, I can play my opponent's cards if I want. <laughs> yeah, that's... I think you did put the worst possible deck together. Like, she who wanders with all units that cost four or less, and they all, like, care about spells, but there's no spells in the deck. And all that kind of stuff. If, if you ever have, you know, if you ever have a different deck that, you know, uh, that would be entertaining, feel free to... Uh, let me know and I'll play that. Um, but yeah, pe people basically in chat said that they wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't click on a, a YouTube video of a deck entitled Worst Deck Ever. I don't know, why not? <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's where my biggest audience is and Okay, yeah, you didn't expect it to be played. Yeah. Uh, is this one of the best games you've ever played, even though it is so new? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, there is so much potential with all the regions and everything, and how about They've done just a wonderful job balancing. Just really impressive job balancing. All right, so good thing about playing Leviathan here is that we get a Leviathan in play, and Leviathan's awesome, so that's a good thing. The bad thing is... I am not banking any spell mana, where if I would play something that only costs five, which, looking at the hand, is basically nothing. But if I would have played something that only costs five, then I could save the spell mana for War Mother's Call for the next turn. Basically, that would have been me playing, like, Katarina and going Katarina, Blade's Edge, the Aristocrat. You know, not, not spectacular. Turn, or Leviathan is such a better turn, but if I would have done that, then we would have had the mana for War Mother's Call. Um, what do we want to do now? Lots of things we can do. Probably go, maybe, maybe just go another Anivia. What am I getting this Hearth Guard in play? They're at four out of five for Gangplank. Could have a leveled up gangplank at any second. Um, I don't know of any really poorly designed cards in the game. Uh, yeah, I I'm not mad at the Brom nerf. We I did put up the it's up on YouTube right now. Morning tea time. The patch one six reaction. If you want to check that out. Wait, yeah. um, I go through, I spent an hour talking about all of, you know, every single car. You know, we, we went through and discussed every car change and everything. It took about an hour, so, like, real good discussion there, so. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Yeah, you can listen to it during your evening jog. Perfect. Never lost a fair game. Hold it, partner. Or played one. Not sure if this attack's worth it. I'm worried. I don't think it is. I'm worried that I attack, they block, they have something that kills my Nivea egg. Also known as Egg Nivea. Water is mine and mine alone. I guess it's years and years alone if you just want to be greedy. I think Twisted Fate wants to share it with you. This is our time. Artillery barrage. We haven't leveled up Swain very well. We're only at six out of twelve. We haven't drawn like an avalanche or anything. I guess attacking with Anivia would have helped out with that. Um 
We go in Frostbite here. I want to play War Mother's Call, of course. Our whole hand is just units. It's pretty awkward. Hey, Harvey. The, front, the Harsh Winds does put the Anivia back into the deck, which is good for War Mother's Call. Go ahead and do the harsh winds and uh, make it easier to keep Leviathan around. Get this damage on Gangplank for Anivia. Um, now we go Hearth Guard. The War Mother will unite Pump those us up. All. We got the call next turn. No. That's all right. Let's soar. All right, so we at least kill, kill the gang flank, get that out of here. Quick death was too good. It's good enough for a Swain level up, but I'm going War Mother's Call. They're down to one card in hand, and I got all this stuff. I will be shocked if we lose this from here. Yeah, our guillotine didn't get stolen this time. That's a plus. Still see far clear. Leviathan's a good one to bring in with War Mother's Call. Like even even if you don't get the the play draw Swain, it's still a good one. Um, are they attacking? Mayhaps. Victory awaits. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Grand General! Grand General. Blow him to the depths! Counter attack! Sure, they could kill Leviathan with something. Found me. I'm just gonna kill him with everything else we got. Um Alright, so we know that's a spell. I'm gonna pass. I assume they're going to be playing that spell. Okay, it's a withering well. I don't. I didn't want it to be something that would also kill. Katarina. So we're going to play Katarina now. Let the bloodshed begin. And I don't know. I guess I'm going to play you. All right, GGs. My comfort and only one. one way. Going backwards. There we go. Four and O. Oh. Our deck's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. No champ Noxus Shadow Isle should be pretty aggressive. Which means that Avalanche is awesome. I guess I'll keep Avaros in Century 2. Those are great cards to see off the top. Maybe this will just be like a slow, undying control deck. And we'll lose or something. Maybe it's not an aggro deck. Maybe undying, harrowing. Ruination. 
Now it's looking like that. We're just looking. We're looking for War Mother's Call. If we want to pick out a specific card that I want to draw, it would be War Mother's Call. Give me that life back. I'll take Avros and Hearthguard too. Thank you. The War Mother will unite us all. So now the War Mother will unite us all. Turn four, Hearthguard. Attack. Stand together. Yeah, miss call. Bring it back. No, because they would they would block the allegiance card. They had miss call. So playing Shadow Isle allegiance card. So we're certainly expecting a whole bunch of Shadow Isle cards. Stand and defend. These old eyes still. All right, War Mother's Call. I suppose that's not bad either. I suppose. Hmm. Know your enemy. They just gonna be ruinationing. Maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm guessing they're. Th I'm guessing they're. The Undying, Harrowing, Ruination, that kind of stuff. We have to watch out for some Rasa. Later on, if we can play around a Rasa. That may be something to play around. Mithrace aren't getting smaller. Just like my belly. Mm. I could let that happen, probably. Where are we at with Swain? Zero? Okay, almost there. Yes. Mm. Okay, so use this. Basically, I'm spending three spell mana to put a 5-2 into play. I'm gonna have that 5-2 block like a 4-3. What is up? One more call. Alright, we can... Oh no, that means we don't get to play Leviathan. Hmm. Wrong move. 
This is our homeland. I take five. I want to have the extra spell mana available for War Mother's Call. And I'd, I'd rather kill the 4-3 than the 5-2 because of Avalanche. They play nothing. Big bag of nothing. Seven mana. They looked at their five cards in hand and said, no, no, we're playing any of these. And fairly quickly. Empire, battle by Are they battle. all nine mana cards in hand? Hopefully we get to Avalanche this next turn. Hopefully they don't just go straight to combat. Um, which I'm not really expecting them to go straight to combat. We're going to have another thing in play from War Mother's Call. you know. So we'll have a third blocker. If they do go straight to combat, we'll just go um, Harsh Winds. You know, so it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. We'll just Harsh Winds it up. Hubbers are borking. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yours, nice Phil. It's yours. The Twisted Fizz. So cool. Yeah, let me know about the changes. Leveled up in the via. A storm approaches. I'm just kind of expecting ruination. This is going to do six damage, right? Two, four, six. So. Close to leveling up Swain. Not quite. It doesn't really matter because regular Swain and level up Swain do the exact same number of damage with them having nothing in play. So I'm not not really planning on playing anything in hand. We can play. Okay, so there's the Ruination. So now we'll play the Leviathan. Play this catalyst to gain three, but then we gain three life, but then we lose three spell mana. I'm not gonna do that. Nothing escapes my Because we're gonna draw War Mother's this Call is our time. if I do that. We didn't do it, so we didn't, but. Alright, so there's the Undying. I'm not gonna play. No, no reason to play Swain to another Ruination. There's just no reason to. Like they're very dead right now. Return we are playing in a normal. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Grand General! Not have ten. 
They do not have 10 different cards with different names. We'll take one little damage. Should be fine. All right, thanks, Nitro. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, looking like a five-win dream. Snow, wind, and ice. Even if they have life gain to respond, we have death sand now to respond to life gain. First, we're gonna go up a little bit more. Make that feel even worse. And now we will do this. So they don't gain the three life from Withering Whale. Alright. 5 0 with War Mother's One Horn. It was just a normal. But still. It looks good. It looks good. It was fun to play too. See what? I'll bring back. I'll be bringing this deck back. That was fun to play. Um, Aura Glenhorn honestly didn't really do much. But it was just big. I mean, but you know, like just Catalyst and War Mother's Call are very strong. Love having Leviathan Swain. You know, like with especially with War Mother's Call, that's pretty awesome. You know, Glenhorn still it's just like a six six that they have to deal with. I'm not I'm not convinced that Orok Glenthorn is better than Minotaur Reckoner. If we'd have like Minotaur Reckoner in instead. Maybe the Reckoner would be better. I don't know. But it was it was it was good. Anivia was good. Um Yeah, this is a, a fun deck to play. Avalanche is awesome. Of course. Um, yeah, we actually we actually defeated Freljord midrange twice, technically. <laughs> no, really just once. I think we got paired against the same person, and so they just conceded right away. Um, so yeah, that's that's something you could do. Uh, but you know, it's called War Mother Glinthorn, and the Glinthorns were just fine. So pretty fun one here. Pretty fun. All right, that's it here for War Mother Glenhorn. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. If you try this deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. And like I said, we'll, tr we'll probably try this one out in ranked in a future stream. We'll bring this back later on. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some War Mother Glenhorn, and I'll see you for the next video.